Hey everyone, welcome to your daily dose of medicine. In today's video, we are going to talk about histoplasmosis. First of all, what is histoplasmosis? It's an infection caused by breathing in spores of a fungus often found in birds and bad droppings. In this image, you can see some of the complications could seen in patients who are infected with this fungus. And in this map, you can see outbreak locations in the United States. And these spores are found in soil and in the droopings of bats and birds. And this fungus mainly grows in central, southeastern and mid-Atlantic states. It is common among AIDS patients because of their suppressed immunity. And the fungus is thermally dimorphic. In the environment, it grows as a brownish mycelium and at body temperature, it morphs into a yeast. And the symptoms are, in mildest forms, it, it causes no signs or symptoms, but severe infections could be life-threatening. If you are going to have symptoms, they generally show up about 10 days after exposure. And the possible symptoms are fever, chills, headache, muscle aches, dry cough, chest discomfort, and fatigue. What causes it? The spores that cause this condition are commonly found in places where birds and bats have roosted such as caves, chicken coops, older barns. And we generally see this condition in spelunkers. Is it contagious? No. It can spread from the lungs between people or between people and animals. And the complications can include acute respiratory distress syndrome in this condition if your lungs fill with fluid, it can lead low levels of oxygen in your blood. And it can also cause heart problems, adrenal insufficiency, and this infection can damage your adrenals and may cause problems with hormone production. And it can also cause meningitis. And meningitis membranes surrounding your brain and spinal cord become infected. And the treatments are, if you have a mild infection, you probably won't need any treatment. But in severe infections, itroconazole is one type of antifungal medication that is commonly also used to treat histoplasmosis. And depending on the severity of infection and the person's immune status, the course of treatment can range from 3 months to 1 year. And this wraps up the whole video. Consider liking, commenting, sharing, and it will help us for the algorithm.